Hello YouTube, it's Delta0125 here again with a review of my range bag this time. It's a Condor bag. I actually bought this after the house fire so I could go back into the house and get stuff that was still salvageable. Um, that's why I got like gloves hanging out, a flashlight, you know, that sort of thing. But uh, on the sides here you're supposed to be able to hold like water bottles and cameras, that sort of thing. Uh, AR-15 mag pouches. I actually stuffed some candy bars in here. About four of them. Probably stuff more, but I'm not that much of a fat ass. And down here, I've got, I believe this is a pistol mag pouch. I've got a uh, multi tool and a uh, little LED flashlight. You pick up at, like Home Depot for $10 for 10 of them. Pretty bright. A little emergency flashlight, I guess. Up here, I'm not sure what these are. I'm guessing they're like shot shell holders or tool and multi-tool and flashlight holders. But my multi-tool and flashlight wouldn't fit up there, so I'm in the bottom. On the other side here, you got a place with Velcro for your patches and stuff. Down here, I never really thought of what I could use in this little pouch, but uh, I'm guessing that's for a cleaning kit to go down here. Rods and that sort of thing. Up here, uh... It's another pouch, which is supposed to be for ammo. Hold on, this real quick. But uh, I kind of stuffed my Xbox 360 hard drive in there. So yeah. But uh, that's for my new Xbox 360. My old one's uh, hard drive survived, but the Xbox did not. So I got to close the bag. So I kind of just. Uh, Pulled out the new hard drive and put it in the old one since all my stuff was on the old one. And inside the bag, you get a center divider. And then you get two sides, I guess. The uh, center divider actually has pockets, apparently. It's got uh, Velcro pockets, though, and as well as uh, you can also un Velcro it and have a triple divider. On this side, though, I've got an AR-15 cleaning kit that uh, survived the fire. Got a notepad and some earbuds for the radio. And then I've got a bunch of brass from when I went shooting. I didn't get any footage of that because I didn't have a camera at the time. But I uh, shot a 38 Special. Actually, kicked less than I thought it would. And, uh, yeah, so this is basically just the uh, Condor tactical response bag or range bag as it's supposed to be called also comes with a strap up here which I've actually used numerous times that it, it's actually pretty comfortable and uh, surprisingly no one's actually asked me if this is a purse most people actually know what it is up here in Alaska because they see the uh, bag like that most of the time with the mag pouches and stuff on the side so uh, yeah and we're kind of just in a small apartment right now. So, yeah. MAF 2000 survived the uh, house fire. Um, probably going to upgrade that. Oh, and as a, uh, another status update, um, I may be going down to Portland, Oregon this coming up year in late August to meet up with uh, Adam, or sorry, Delta One as he likes to be called, apparently. From Gaz Airsofters and Jarek 4 from, uh, well, Red Dragon Airsoft, as well as a few people from the uh, RDA forums. And uh, me and my friend Bryce are going to go down there, bring our airsoft gear, and uh, basically just play a couple of games with them, I guess, and just hang out or whatever for approximately three to four days, and then we'll be heading back up here to Alaska. And uh, I'm probably going to buy a laptop so I can upload footage um, and some flash drives, of course. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to uh, some reviews tomorrow. I believe we've got an Echo 1P90 coming in by Friday, and tomorrow should be a CO2 powered Desert Eagle and some goggles and some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, and I'll try to get some footage probably tomorrow of the house. So I'll see y'all guys later. Delta 0125, signing off.